uh, North Macedonia we have the particular situation that we have uh, a lot of uh, relatively small uh, media units, uh, especially compared to the size of, of the country. And even more, uh, people are not only consuming local media, but they are also uh, watching especially TV via the internet of all the former uh, Yugoslav uh, countries. Uh, that's why uh, the population here is exposed to local media as well as a variety uh, of the media in the neighboring countries, which uh, means that uh, an opinion uh, or a view of a situation is not exclusively shaped by local media, but also to a big extent by Serbian media, which are considered to uh, be very entertaining. And for this reason, we also see Serbian and indirectly by this also uh, quite a few of uh, Russian views uh, in this country. I mean, we, we are, uh, through uh, our foreign ministry, we are uh, supporting quite a few uh, media dialogue uh, projects. Uh, this is where we, uh, we are in the project work to support uh, the situation and the media in this country. Uh, as an embassy, we are, of course, in, in, uh, in relatively constant contact with, with the local media, with the journalists in, in this country. and. Uh, trying to feed them with information they need and, and assist them uh, with specific, in specific questions they may have. I think um, now uh, that uh, we de-blocked the situation uh, with Bulgaria, North Macedonia is, is, has, is really on track. Uh, of uh, negotiating EU membership. O obviously, there's a few things to be done. Uh, the big thing will be uh, the change of the constitution that was part uh, of the deal. But I'm, I'm very confident that this uh, will, be, be, will be managed. Then there's the technical issues, um, which means that uh, here the ministries have to work through uh, the screening process uh, to open all the chapters uh, to to work through uh, the whole list of uh, to do the whole to do list if you so wish, and uh, then of course there is the the big issue and this is uh, rule of law uh, fight of corruption and uh, this ultimately will take uh, political will uh, to be solved and this will uh, cannot be generated uh, in Brussels but this will has to be generated in Skopje amongst the, the political parties. So at the end of the day, uh, the time frame is in the hands of Macedonian politics and the key to entering the EU is also in the hands uh, of Macedonian government. We are optimistic and I'm, I'm sure that uh, if the will is there, it could be one of the really quick EU accessions, uh, but it, it will not come by itself. Uh, it needs the work and this has to be done.